Good morning, welcome back to BT. Right now, Sobeys is doing a really cool contest where they're just asking how you make your kids' lunches better. The big prize is meeting Jamie Oliver. I'm lucky enough, though, to meet Jody Arsenault joining us from uh, mommymoments.ca. You've got some great ideas about taking my old leftovers, turn them into brand new lunches. Uh, where do you want to start? Tacos? Yeah, so if you start with a uh, taco salad, use your last night's ground beef. Mm -hmm. Put it together in this kind of container. So if you take out the top part there. This is so great because the nachos don't get all soggy. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see in the bottom we have the lettuce and tomato there. Right. And, and then, if you take out the little dip uh, container. So smart. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Then that would just be poured in and you just dump the other stuff in and it's ready to go for lunchtime. And the kids have a little more uh, a little more sand in it so they can put their cheese where they want, they can do their meat where they want, yeah. and then one, two, three, all the food groups represented. Yeah, and you don't have a soggy lunch, so. Sweet idea. This one you're taking the one kids love. That's why we make it for dinner every, like, twice every week. <laughs> mac and cheese and doing something new with it. Yeah, so if you have a baked mac and cheese or homemade mac and cheese, then you can put it in a thermos and it's hot to go. But then to make it extra fun for the kids, you'll want to add like bacon. So we have sure. bacon and cheese here and they can sprinkle it on top nice, and nice. stir it up and it's ready to go for for when they want to have their lunch. Because they love, they'll love the mac and cheese, but you want to add a little more life yeah, to it. Yeah, just so that it's not like eating the same thing as last, last night's dinner. And then we also have here, um, you can use last night's dinner for um, like if you have chicken, you can roast up some veggies and then in the morning just put them up in a wrap, use parchment paper instead of saran wrap and wrap it up, put a note on it and I fun little lunch. I, can I guys, where are you? I love the note. Do you often do this as a mom? You got two little girls, right? I have two little girls. Do you and often note? I love writing notes to them for school. I was, uh, that was the only thing I remember about lunches as a kid. I can't remember what mom made, but the fact that she wrote on the napkins every uh, time. That's awesome to hear. Well, it was sweet. Don't do the aw thing. <laughs> um, okay, and last but not least, well, lots of schools, or I should say as we get along, lots of schools talking about littlest lunches, which is worth the effort, but not the easiest thing in the world to do. Right, so there's a few different things you can do with um, littlest lunches, and one is using a bento type box here. And so when you're using leftovers, if you have, uh, you know, whatever you have, ground beef or anything left or chicken, you can make little sandwiches and I just slice them in little sticks to make them funner to eat. Nice. And then put veggies and, you know, if you open that up, there's dip in there to dip the veggies and some fruit and and just make it kind of fun. And when you open it, it's all ready to eat. So it's not a whole bunch of little containers. And the kids can go with what they want to go first and decide where they want to be. And again, an excellent representation of all the food groups in there. We got our right. proteins, we got our veggies, we got our fruit, we got our yeah. grains, all set. Yeah. And then we've done a couple things with the old mason jar. Right. So, um, you know, for kids, uh, plastic mason jars are available, which is really good for school. Some people also still prefer glass. But what you can do is just put your um, potato salad in a glass mason jar and if you open it up here, um, we just put some chicken slices on top last from last chicken. night's chicken. Great. On top, and same thing here with the with the uh, spinach and strawberry salad. We just put a container with the dressing on the top. Slice up the chicken. Slice breast. up the chicken. Have a little foldable fork in here. Is that what? Man. Yeah, absolutely. That's darn cool. All right, I'm going to play the fork, but I want to quickly <laughs> let people know about uh, the cool contest that's going on right now. I can actually meet Jamie Oliver if I'm doing a good job with my kids' lunches? Yeah, so if you uh, tweet or Instagram a uh, picture of how you're making your lunches better and use the hashtag BetterFoodForAll, okay. then you have a chance to win a cooking lesson with Jamie Oliver in Toronto. So for more information, BetterFoodForAll.com. Cool. And you can also see more of my food ideas if on Instagram at Jody Arsenault. We'll make sure that all those links are on breakfasttelevision.ca. Do I have to do I have to teach, get him to teach <laughs> me to cook or can I just stare dreamily into his eyes? Oh, whatever you prefer, I guess. Either way. Either you way. Might make him uncomfortable, but either way it'd be a cool contest. All the links on breakfasttelevision.ca. Can take a break. There's plenty still to come on BT. I love this. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm.